It's Friday night and I feel all right. Hello, beautiful besties. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back, dwellings. Today, I have five fragrances to share with you, all sexy. Yep, let's get it out of the way. Let's talk about them. These are the sexy fragrances. They're kind of mouth-watering. They're juicy. They're sensual. They're syrupy. <laughs> they're, um, they're appropriate for right now. <laughs> if you want to hear more, please <laughs> If you want to hear more, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things, okay? All things fancy and fabulous, darling. So if that sounds like something that you would be into or you want to become a part of, stop what you're doing. First and foremost, drop me your most sexiest, sensual, alluring, syrupy, if you will, if you will, fragrance that you would recommend that I get my nose on. If this is your kind of vibe and your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. If you really wanna take it a step further and become a bestie, come over, say hi on Instagram, slide in the DM. Hey girl, hey guy. All right, you guys, without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. I was just doing another video with Dior. You guys, I only had a cup and a half of coffee, okay? But anyways, yeah, I'm getting ready to go out. It is Friday night. It's Friday night. And I feel all right. Is that a song? Wait a minute. Is that Bobby Brown? It's Friday. Oh, God. Just got paid. Mm. Friday night. <laughs> oh, my God. Just stop. Just stop. Anyway, it's Friday night, okay? It's Friday night, and I'm getting ready to go out. I'm seriously contemplating wearing Love Don't Be Shy. It's orange blossom, it's vanilla, it's marshmallow, it's whipped cream. This is the intense version of Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, I should say. This is really good. See, I'm right here. I know we're going out and it's hot outside. I've been trying to like do stuff in the evening, like late, late evening when it cools down. Cause here in LA, it will cool down once the weather, um, you know, once the temperature will drop, girl, can you get it right? The temperature will drop once it gets a little bit like later in the day, about 7.30, 8 o'clock, you'll start to feel like a little breeze. At least most times we do. But this one here, I'm really thinking about wearing. I've been wearing a lot of <laughs> I've been wearing a lot of off the shoulder, off the sleeve, one shoulder, one arm. And I like to have a little bit of skin, like a shoulder, a decollete or something with a lot of, um, not too much, not looking like a disco ball. I always tell you guys, very classy, never trashy. But I put like the body shimmers on and the body gels and then the SPF. And I like to top it with something like this because it goes really well and it helps the fragrance to project because it has something to hold on to because the skin has been prepped and highly, you know, hydrated and moisturized. I hope, I hope you're doing the same thing as well. So that's what I'm doing. So. I'm feeling this, this is really sexy. Oh my God, I lost myself there. Okay, so that's in the running. I've spoke to you about this many times before. This one here is C Passion and this is Eclat. This was just featured in a video recently because this is gonna, you know, be empty soon, but it's so sexy too. It's more of a fruitier, syrupy, black currant. Oh my gosh, type of fragrance. And every time I wear this, my guy absolutely goes crazy. He loves it. So I contemplated wearing this as well. This also has vanilla in it as well. And it's really good. So if you're having one of those summer date nights or, you know, just going out with the girls and you want to feel yourself and kind of feel, you know, sexy and maybe alluring and just like, you know, that girl, cause you are, or that woman, cause you are, um, reach for something like this if you have it in your collection. And if you don't, I would recommend getting your nose on it. This is a really beautiful, sexy, um, it, it doesn't say that it has plum, but it gives me the sexy note like plum. That's the black currant probably in the vanilla. And then it's really fruity. So if you can get your nose on this, I would recommend it. I've been spraying it like crazy. The proof is in the dent. I move on. These are all kind of in the same family, somewhat, but not really, but somewhat. Another one, like I sleep in this like crazy, but I don't really wear it out a lot. I took it to, I took it with me to Cabo and this is BDK, this is Rouge Smoking. Oh, normally I call it Smoking Rouge. Giving it my own name, you know, as I always do. But anyways, it is Rouge Smoking. This is that Dr. Pepper Coca-Cola, fizzy, but really cherry, liqueur, syrupy, sensual, vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is good. 
fragrance. And so I was saying, I'm in this realm. I don't know what that's saying about me. I'm in cherry, I'm in vanilla, I'm in syrupy black currant. I'm in, oh God, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> TikTok is ruining my life. I just want to put that out there. Not really you guys, but really. Um, this is really good. If you are looking for something like that and you like that type of a fragrance, you know, Dr. Pepper, not really, but kind of like fizzy, given that same dark cherry that it has in this. This is not a cherry to me, anything like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's nothing like Kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry or what have you. It stands on its own when it comes to a cherry fragrance. And this is really good. Yeah, it's got some pink pepper or bergamot in it as well. If you haven't tried this one, this is another sexy, sensual one that I recommend for date night. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm going to speak and just follow me and go with me with what I'm saying. But I'm not going to use actual terms, okay? Because we like to keep it classy over here. But follow, follow, you'll get it. So when you go out for those intimate evenings um, and you're with your boo, your bae, your loved one, your significant other, your husband, your spouse, your girl, your guy, your bae, your boo, whatever, right? And the evening takes a turn and you know that it's going to take another turn, right? You don't always want to have on something too loud or too, you know, in your face or something that's going to cause the person's nose to be burning because you oversprayed like I do. So in that event, I typically spray very carefully and I will spray, you know, behind the neck. I will spray in the, you know, the crook of the arm, like the nape of the elbow, uh, behind the knees, down by the ankles, you know, just in those places on the chest, like my decollete area, center of the chest. I like to spray my shoulders. I'm a behind the neck kind of gal as well. I just like to spray those areas, but not going, okay, can I do a demonstration? Yes, I still have my Apple Watch on you guys because I'm tracking all my steps. You don't wanna spray the fragrance in those intimate nights or evenings or days or what have you right here up this close. Hold it back and then spray it so that the area gets a burst in the midst of it. It distributes itself evenly. And that way when someone goes in for a, uh, you know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, girl, what are you teaching over here? When somebody goes in for that intimate, I don't even know what to call it, intimate evening, um, intimate, what is it called? Act, okay, or what have you. You're not splashing them with just a, a whole stark thing of fragrance just laying on your skin. I know you can follow me, right? We're all adults here, you follow what I'm saying. So I'm just saying when you're having those type of nights, days, events, you're spending the night doing it, whatever that you're doing, you just wanna spray your fragrance with a little bit more tack, a little bit more grace. Now normally when I'm just going out, I'm doing Shrey and I'm going out doing my own thing, she's spraying. If you've ever seen me, I have a sprinkler system. It's my fragrance, I will spray as much of it as I want. I will spray it high, I will spray it low, I will spray it, you know, on the ankles, down by the flow. Hello Cardi, call me. I'm just saying I will spray it. But if I'm on a date like what we're gonna do tonight, I might choose to spray it just a little bit differently and I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, I move on. Another one, I don't know what's wrong with me on this vanilla cake. This one here does it for me as well. This is Kayali and this is Vanilla 28. This is like, if there was a fragrance and somebody said, what would you recommend? I have to have a vanilla fragrance and I want something easy, nothing too complex, something that I am, you know, starting my collection with, what would you suggest? Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna suggest this one. This is easy, this is brown sugar, this is vanilla. This is a very well blended, easy to wear, easy to reach type of fragrance. And I absolutely love it. I fell in love with this fragrance a few years ago. I tell the story all the time, but in case you're new here, let me regurgitate and tell it again, a quick 2.5. I was on a date night and friends and I were going to dinner and we were out of town on a like friend vacation, couples vacation, what have you. And I put this on and we were walking to dinner and not to say too much, but to say too much. My guy's like, how much time do we have before? <laughs> Don't finish it. Don't finish it. He was like, what time is it? I was like, listen, we have to go. He was like, I don't know what that is, but you smell so good. Now, mind you, I had put this on top of Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. So if you want to try that combo, I wasn't trying to make it a combo. I had just said, oh yeah, Keetra gave me these samples. Let me top it off and um, let me pop it off. Okay, no, no, Sheree, enough TikTok. 
gosh. Oh my God, you guys, I have a rant. I have something to say. Can I say it? Oh no, no, no. let me finish this and I'll come back. Anyways, um, yeah, I had sprayed this on top of it and he just could not get enough of it. He was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is something that's inviting, it's sexy, it's brown sugar, it's vanilla, it's very um, decadent, I would say. It's very alluring, it's very sensual, very sexy, all the same word, but you get the point of what I'm saying. It's one of those, it's gonna leave like a nice linger. This is something that you would cuddle with, this is something you would have cool sheets and maybe you rolled over and grabbed the blanket like that or something and then you took it up and then it got a whiff and it went out and it was like oh my god she smells intoxicating she smells so good it's one of those okay you guys and another one and this is the one that i'm leaning towards this is so super sexy this is ruby orchid by victor and roth and i have to eat crow every time i even mention this fragrance because i said oh it's okay but i really like it i'm not gonna buy it and then the brand sent it to me. We did a collaboration and I began to spray it because I was you know, wearing it and testing it out. And then I wore it on a date and I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, this is really good. And it's long lasting. It's vanilla, it's black currant, it's very syrupy, it's very sexy, it's very, very long lasting. And if you're looking for something very long lasting, this would be the way to go. This is very sexy, it's very creamy, it's very decadent, alluring. It's a sexy, sensual, date night type of fragrance and it kind of makes you feel like a baddie too. Take that word, do with it what you want. I'm just trying to describe the thrills and feels and the vibes. It gives you like sexy baddie kind of girl. It's not like giving you like, oh my God, I'm like, like classy, not that. It's like a baddie vibe and I love that for this fragrance. Um, it's kind of youthful too, it's kind of flirty, kind of, you know, that type of thing. So if you were out with the girls or if you were trying to give somebody a hand or you were trying to flirt with somebody or anything like that, catch his attention, get his attention, grab his attention, this is one that you would want to go with. I move on. Gosh, I don't even have anywhere else to spray. I believe it has like a peach note in it too. Peach, vanilla, black, okay, yeah, I'm wearing this tonight. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing this. I have not worn this in forever. I haven't worn this in forever. I am wearing this tonight. She's wearing this tonight. You guys, I have to go. I seriously do. I'm on here just acting crazy. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so much, besties, for stopping by, for chatting with me, for allowing me to pick my date night fragrances with you. I quite like these kind of videos because they're kind of chatty and I don't have to be on an agenda, you know what I mean? I could just talk, fill you guys in, share different stuff with you, talk to you, tell you what I'm reaching, what I'm grabbing. I probably won't do the whole get ready with me in every date night video, but I will put a picture together at the end of the video to tell you how I brought the whole look together. Some days we'll do it in depth, some days we won't. You guys, I'm not really a plan it all out type of gal, you know what I mean? Oh my God, my lips seem so ashy again. Mm. I need a my Dior lip oil. <laughs> uh, I'm not that kind. I really like to just do me. You know what I mean? I like it to be authentic, for it to be real, for it to be what I'm really feeling, for it to be, you know, what I'm really, what I'm really at in my life right now. I can't just be making up stuff. When I'm doing like a, a brand or a review or something like that, I'll have a note, I'll write everything out, you know, things that they want me to touch on, um, things that I actually experience when using product, whether it be a makeup, a facial, you know, skincare, something like that. But when I'm doing my own videos, I just really want them to come from the bottom of my heart. I don't really want to be, you know, sometimes I wanna drive home certain points to you guys. So I'll point those out and tell you about that. Like what I was saying about the intimate nights, not spraying the fragrance too close like I just did. Mm! But, you know, spraying it more far away so that, you know, <laughs> You're not blasting anybody out. Yeah, I quite like these kind of videos. So if you enjoy them as well, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Always leave a comment. You never know what can happen by you leaving a comment. Always be classy. Um, also, what else did I want to say? I think that's it. I think that's it. I have to go. Oh, I got my nails done. I did get new nails. Mm. I told him to go really, really pink, but this is actually too pink. It was that Barbie. I'm blaming it on Barbie. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. I'm blaming it on Barbie. I got just a very, it's really a pink and white, but I got the white very, very thin. I don't know, it's kind of almost giving kitten heel stilettos. <laughs> oh my God, Trey abort in the video, in the video in the video okay you guys i'm leaving but it is kind of giving you know if you look really closely it is kind of giving stiletto kitten heels just tell the truth these are giving stiletto kitten heels okay i gotta go i love you like cooked food 
I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.